who would want to eat clean? Everybody wants a healthy and balanced lifestyle, right? But this is not the case for marine animals. They don't get to choose. It is either dying of starvation or dying of suffocation. Plastic has polluted our oceans. Bottles, bags, boxes, wrappers, they're everywhere. Therefore, the food chain of marine animals has been decreased. For the water is contaminated with plastic. For long, the ocean has been Earth's life support, with 97% of the world's water held by the sea. We rely on it to regulate our climate and see it as our number one source of protein for over a billion people. Imagine that oceans are no longer able to do its job. What would you do? While it is undeniable that plastic goods are very convenient, its pollution in the ocean has been an ongoing issue, for it stems from the ignorance of people, which mainly originates from the ubiquity of plastic in our daily lives, plus the acquisition of plastic manufacturers or people who are simply ignorant. They just don't care about things going on around them. First, the ignorance of people has caused plastic pollution in the ocean because we have made plastic something very mainstream in our lives. We use plastic bags for shopping, plastic bottles for beverages, disposable plastic containers that are used once for takeouts. Specifically in Vietnam, each household uses at least one plastic bag per day and the national scale is about 25 million bags per day. Vietnamese are different from Westerners in terms of buying everyday goods. Westerners may go to supermarkets and buy groceries for a whole week or even a month. But with the accommodation of daily open air markets, people in Vietnam go to markets every day and for each thing they buy, a plastic bag will accompany it, thus making the use of plastic bags per day increase dramatically. In particular, each urban household can use three to six plastic bags each day. Multiply it with the number of households and you'll see the whopping number of plastic bags trashed out each day in Vietnam. You do the math. But despite knowing the potent risk of plastic bags fairly well, we still use plastic products as they are awfully convenient, omnipresent and cheap. Moreover, in some rural places, people are too uneducated to realize the damage of plastic bags. Some do, but with their poverty, they just ignore that fact and keep using plastic bags. Additionally, plastic pollution rises from the ignorance of producers who use plastic to cut costs. They see that most of the goods produced need good packaging so that they catch the eyes of consumers. The prettier the packaging, the higher chance that the consumers will buy it. So, manufacturers usually have their goods wrapped handsomely, a few several layers more than what they actually need. Imagine people replacing the natural packaging of oranges, peel and rind, taking them off and putting the oranges inside plastic trays that will never degrade. Seems pretty wasteful. Also, is it just me seeing that bananas can't stand alone without the packaging? A foam tray and a layer of plastic wrap? Really? The peel was still on though. Also, plastic bag segment recorded a revenue of $39.2 billion in 2017. With that revenue and human greed putting down an emerging industry of plastic bags is extremely hard, if not impossible. Finally, plastic pollution in the ocean is derived from the ignorance of people because people don't know about the sad reality and they do not even put effort into understanding it. While plastic goods are very convenient, cheap and easy to use, plastic pollution in the ocean has become a humongous problem arising from the ignorance of people.